hey, mass drop's actually on time. Like, this was a timely thing. I paid extra for this to be shipped faster so that I could put it on the desk next to where I'm actually working and ignore it for six months. Uh, this is why I have to cut it towards me because it's, it's stuck and I have to leverage against my stomach. It's fine. Leverage a sandwich against my stomach. Oh. This be the Aorist R2R deck. And I bought it. I straight up bought it. I don't... Sometimes Mass Drop sends me things, and sometimes, well, most times I just don't bother. And if I want it to review fast, I have to, like, throw the Patreon money at it. And that Patreon money is going to have to start being squandered away to use for RMAF, which you don't know, uh, Pasta will include a link to the RMAF GoFundMe in this. Oh, I got another one of these! I love these black, like, this, it's foam here, but it's black, like, felt here. And I put it behind my Not Safe Work anime figures, and they really pop. So that's good. Let's hold that. Recommended setup steps. Oh, God. This is going to be terrifying. Attach the auxiliary power to the wall. Fucking so much effort. Connect your source. Attach the optical op uh, output cables, RCA. Press the power button in the front to turn on the unit. Red light indicates demo mode. White indicates ready for playback. Select the input using the front button indicator. Illuminate, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so it's basically use it by using it. Let's see what kind of power we're shucking into this thing. It's only a DAC, so it shouldn't need more than like, if this is 12 volt, it's an R2R DAC. I don't know how the circuitry affects the difference in how you power it. Uh, this might end up in a yard sale. It might not, because it's gonna match perfectly my little stack. We have got, wow, 5.3 volt, three amp. I guess that's okay. That's that's a weird one. Uh, comes with a nice USB cable. Although it's gonna be janked to fuck. How janked is it, Zeus? Um, to fuck. Anywhere from meh to the fuck. Okay, so leave that in there. I don't need that to come out. Now, one thing I like about this is it's actually thinner. Than like the 789, and I think that's just because the capacitors in it are not too tall. Oh, it's flat. It's like the PlayStation Slim. So, momentary button, not a momentary button, a uh, toggle button, and then a momentary button. And it says OC and you optical coaxial USB. That's beautiful. Instead of drawing pictures, although if you draw pictures, that's means you could work it like that for every country. Not a balanced stack. Now this is $350 on Mass Drop. I'll send you the link, Pasta, for Mass Drop. Um, DC 5.3 amp, uh, USB coaxial optical, there's your inputs, there's your outputs, that's it. That's the whole unit. It's fucking so, I, this case, I'm, I, I'm so glad Mass Drop picked a case that isn't shit. This feels, this could be this could be $2,000 and I'd be like, oh, it's a nice $2,000 uh, DAC or anything. Anything you put in this style case is like beautiful. It's the bridges. Okay, I don't need to actually like read. Reading is for stupids and I'm not one of those. So let's put this over here where the cat will walk across it and throw it on the floor. Um, if it ends up in a yard sale, you'll know about it. Next, this is really nice stuff, by the way, the ravioli things. Don't let anyone get to these, because here's the thing. This one is affecting that one, so they're all linked. So if you pop one, they're all just goes flat. That's great packing stuff. That over bubble wrap any day. Uh, new Amazon packaging. Actually, let's see if I can get this open without. Ta-da! What? This is a keep. I'm gonna keep those bags because I yard sales, something like an MP3 player, throw it in that. Ah this is me fixing mass drops fuck ups. Speaking of mass drop, haha. <laughs> so this is a 15 volt 2 amp power brick. And I bought it because I bought this. 
perfectly fine on mash up the topping dx3 pro right also mass drop possible you can find this on amazon topping dx3 pro um and it's like okay it needs a power adapter and this is the only one that they sent and i don't live in that country mass drop and i checked in the in the, like, the discussion and someone else got it also and i'm just like and it's a it's a replaceable one you hit the button and it'll rotate and pop off and you just put on the american one but good fucking luck finding this in american just that so i looked this up 15 this is only a one amp this is a two amp it was like 10 bucks it's so much it's worth spending ten dollars so that i do not have to deal with a mass drops customer service i'll take the other european one and i'll I don't know, i'll send it to a friend in europe i don't have any friends in europe nice i'll get friends in europe now this is interesting this had a sticker on it that says received in damaged condition so i'm just like There's like a hole. It's like this is a hole, and there's a hole. I don't know what it is. So let's whip this out. I'm obviously not keeping this envelope. I love sharp things. Ah, so wow, they sent me a Hallmark card. This company, uh works with an artist and they're like hey we want you to feature the music on your like sound demos and you could use and you want to hear it he does amazing surround sound mixes and as soon as they said that i was like oh fuck give me so i think this is yes the savior a bad thing surround sound production now these are both blu-ray discs now if i come over here to my blu-ray player oh fuck i don't own one of those because i have a home theater pc and I don't actually deal with physical media like this. But they sent it to me anyway, so I'll probably yard sale one of these, keep another one, eventually get a, a thing, and then I told them I requested they send me like FLAC files, you could have surround sound FLAC files, DTS HD files, MKVs with the files in it, something. Anyway, it's a handwritten card. We are looking forward to collaborating with you on a bad thing content. And close is a Blu-ray copies, they are both the same content you also work with you on getting uh getting you the content to sound surround i don't know that's a word that is some doctor handwriting right there but i thank you very much danielle holy crap i didn't even see the gold heart that says grateful see companies are nice this company has an interesting product they're like hey we got this guy, I think he he was in an 80s band, he was a drummer, I forget, was it Tears for Fears? No, it wasn't Tears for Fears, it was... Flock of Seagulls? Flock of Seagulls! And he started this, and they're like, she's out pushing the music, and surround sound, here's the thing about surround sound music, I'll rant for a second. I think it's worthwhile. I mean, if, all you have to do is, if you have a home theater, download, stream, whatever, a concert, a live concert. Because that's usually the only place you can find the surround sound mixes that are proper. And you'll get that fucking experience. Like, whoa. But if you go into a studio and mix surround sound music on purpose, and it's not just faked by a receiver, because I could set this to surround sound, and I could play any music, and it'll play out of the left and right, and the center, and the side channels, and the back channels. It'll just, it'll just sort of like figure out with phasing. Wow, it's windy. What, what's got to go where? But if you tell this speaker to do something during mu you literally open up the ability to have instead of two channels i would assume six with the subwoofer i don't think anyone's pushing directly for eight channel i.e sides back so oh you could do so much with it and i want to see what they do and the music isn't terrible so that's good item is as described Alright, final thing of this unboxing, I think. I haven't... My, for some reason, it's 43 seconds left in my microwave. So I couldn't actually judge if this has been longer or shorter than 10 minutes. It's probably at the... What are we at? Like the 9 minute mark right now? 10 minute mark? Are we at the 10 minute mark? Should I stop and do this in another video? All I did was the air is stacking that. No, we're doing one more. Oh, 
Oh, lots of stuff. Lots of stuff. And a Samsung tablet. So that's like, ah. Uh, oh my god. Oh my god. There's so many things. All right, real quick. You mind if I not take this out of the packaging? Because I'm not ready to use it yet. Professional hot knife. This one looks like shit. Highest ratings. The one that looked really cool. Worst ratings. And I need a hot knife because I'm going to use this to fix my periapt cables. Where that the connector is like flat on top, I'm going to take a hot knife and literally slice fucking edges off of it. So we'll see if this was uh, like $16 well spent. So this is a professional hot knife and it's in my thing. I love these, those have to stay. The tablet comes out, the tablet case comes out, the glass, the tempered glass three pack thing for my tablet comes out. Uh, these are important, and what is this? Oh, I'm just so good at throwing things now, it doesn't even like land with any sort of fervor. Firstly, pasta's real upset because there's like 19 things to look now. Firstly, uh, I'm gonna have to have every adapter on earth, that's my goal. I'm gonna open my drawer of like, I'm a professional YouTube reviewer. Do you need a three and a half millimeter balanced to XLR, I have one of those actually. What I didn't have was a 4.4 to XLR, and this is going to be nice because I've got the new feel players, I've got other players that are using Pentacon. I actually don't hate it as a format. Like it's, it's nice and robust and it's probably better to solder than anything else. And if I take out a set of headphones that only has four pin XLR, boom, boom, here's my adapter, like 20 something dollars. And I need this because I'm a professional. YouTuber. I, I, I don't know if I should probably keep this and make sure that works. But I won't. So that's opened. That's opened. Um, fuck flying. I think Pasta will agree. Fuck getting on an airplane. Just fuck it. And I don't, I'm not afraid of the actual act of flying. I even like the turbulence. I'm waiting for it to like get real bumpy. So I can be like, wee! While everyone else is screaming. But when I landed from my recent flight to Oregon, I couldn't hear for 30 hours and when I have work to do that sucks like I'm like can I hear right now and then my air conditioner is silent and I'm like I guess I can't hear right now and when it finally opened I had a little party in my mind so I bought these these are called earplanes and they're reusable hearing protection for flight damage they're literally just earplugs but there's supposed to be this is the second revision the new ones specially designed in this terrible case to wear in your ear, and they supposedly balance the pressure a little better. Um, this is just a handle in the back that doesn't do anything, but they've got that interesting little design. And I can't wait, because here's the thing, I'm going to Rocky Mountain. Again, linked in the beginning of this video. I can throw that out, probably throw both of these boxes out. And if I'm getting off a plane to then go set up a room that'll have equipment in it worth thousands and thousands of dollars, on the stage of forefront, I can't have 30 hours of womp, womp, rubbing my fucking ears. So let's hope those work. Please work. I'm not gonna have it. I don't think I'm gonna have a chance to test them between now and September either. I don't think I'm flying anywhere. But it sucked. I'm gonna have to chew like all the gum. So, if you've been watching my unboxing channel forever, you know that I have a tablet in my car. I have a, a it's a Lenovo, it's a Lenovo tablet. And it's been there for over two years. And those two years have been rough because summer happens and winter happens. And it's gotten so bad that in the winter I have to take it out. And it's gotten so bad that in the summer I have to take it out. Like for certain, just like, it's gonna be 97 degrees. I don't drive my car for a week. And I never shut it off. It just sits there on in standby mode. And it was great because I can, if I shut off, if I shut off the, um, just look up tablet cover. Oh, sorry. If I shut off the Wi-Fi and the shut off the Wi-Fi and the location, it'll sit there on in a standby state and lose like three percent a day. Now let's see if this Samsung tablet can do that. So here's a cover I got because I figured uh, I when I just wanted to cover the thing, I just cover it. Am I happy with my purchase? Am I not happy? Silica gel, don't want the cat eat it. 
Here's a piece of foam that is perfectly the size of my tablet. I haven't opened it. That's a weird shape. It's a 10 inch, but it's like a 10 inch wide. Interesting. Does this not fold? Oh, that sort of sucks. I thought this was gonna, I thought this had like a multiple fold section so you could roll it up, but apparently it doesn't. It just does that. Wait, does it even do that? How are you supposed to use this as a, as a stand? Just, no, these, this section's got, this doesn't fold. Oh, what? Oh, it's supposed to go like that. And that's how you use it as a stand. Oh, I'm thinking about people with iPad cases that it folds down. This might not be usable in my car if this is mounted. That, that's probably just going to hit the dashboard and sit there. So uh, I might be yard selling this case. We'll see. Real quick. Uh, I don't think I need to show you what our glass screen protectors look like. Pasta knows all about those. Very nice sharp box though. Like you think the glass is sharp. No, 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 no. That. Quick. And there's this, just like, let's look at the quick things. What's in this Samsung Galaxy Tab A. And I had to spend some money because apparently no one makes good tablets. No one makes good Android tablets. Everyone's like, you gotta buy an iPad. iPads are the best. You gotta buy an iPad Pro. I'm putting a fucking $500 tablet in my fucking car. The one I have in there now, the Lenovo, was like 130 bucks, 160 bucks, and it lasted two years of very, very bad abuse. Now, the reason I'm replacing it is the um, GPS will be off by like 50 meters, and when you're driving on the highway, and it thinks you're on that road, and it's like, make a left. What? I've literally gotten off the highway in an emergency, thinking that Waze or Google knew that something was happening, and it's like, oh, get on the highway. What's wrong with you? And I'm like, you fuck. Like that happening twice was enough to make me go and get a new tablet. And then it was fucking up, wasn't connecting to my phone because I hotspot my phone. And I restarted it. And it says Lenovo for 12 minutes. And then starts and is working seemingly fine other than the GPS thing. So I think it's just time. Look for that in the yard sale. I will clear out my personal data. Or if you pay enough in the yard sale, not clear out my personal data. And uh, put that put that up there. So here's the tablet. It is definitely wider. Mine is a tall one. This is wider. Comes with. I have to tell you the amperage. Five volt, one point five amp. That's actually rather low for a tablet. Like to charge it. It's got a very nice USB C. Oh, I get to use a USB C in my car. Oh, thank God. I hate USB micro. I hate everything but USB-C. I could say that, right? Um, I love these keys. I keep them on a keychain over there. That's a little, that's to access like, I think, th think this will take a SIM card, by the way. I don't know, I bought it. My friend's like, buy this one. It's the best one you can get. I don't know nothing about tablets. He knows everything about tablets. I'm like, thank you, the yield, the dot yield. Spoiler alerts. All right, what is this? Terms and conditions, health and safety, fuck that. Quick reference guide about my device. What about it? it? Has a headset jack. Still has a headphone jack. Whatever. You want to actually look at it, and I want to turn it on. It comes in this like funeral cloth. This feels like a funeral cloth. I don't know what that even is, but I'm I'm saying that's what it is. That's a tab. I think you peel this. Actually, you know what this feels like a dryer sheet. It's made out of dryer sheet. This is nice. I kind of want to put things in dryer sheets now. I'm trying not to get a fingerprint on there. Also trying not to look directly at it since it's going to be a huge black mirror. Like the show. There's my access point. There's my plug. Two speakers. Nothing on this side. Headphone, mic, camera, power, volume. Power. Power up. Powered by Android. Secured by Knox. Oh great, it's gonna come with all sorts of bullshit. I'm gonna keep this away because in case this thing breaks in a month, I need to have be able to like Amazon! It broke. And let's hope this does the same thing with the battery where if I just sleep it, it just stays there forever. Because I'd rather not load a tablet every time unless I can put an app on it. That when it loses power, it gives you like a 10 second warning and then shuts off. And then when it finds power, it turns on immediately. 
even then though, this is too long a fucking process. I, I get in my car, it literally, it's already on. I go, click, screen's on, unlock, swipe to unlock. I wouldn't actually need that. Let's go. Well, that is a very bright screen, but how... Oh, Jesus, it's slippery. You know what? That angle is not... It's going to definitely need to be pointed at me, and I hope it gets brighter than this. Um, I, I read all those. Did you read them? I read them. Uh, how do you want to connect? I think wirelessly... Only available with Samsung Galaxy devices. Oh, bring up my no, I'll skip this for now. Let's bring my back my data back. I don't have any data. And I guess we'll use my internet. And then I'm not showing my Wi-Fi password. That's the end of this unboxing. We did some stuff. I got this tablet to play with. And by play with, I mean I want to be able to navigate. I want Waze that doesn't lag. Waze is so laggy on my current tablet. It always was. It was never fast. But this is like Snapdragon, fucking go, go, go. So links to everything you see here, and I'll see you all tomorrow for another one. And I'm hungry. I'm going to make egg salad. Bye-bye.